This is a Skywatcher Evo Star 72 ED made from the shot optical glass, which is really good, uh, low dispersion, low scatter glass. It has a, a lens which is apochromatic, or you may call it semi apochromatic, but it's practically colorless, it should be, uh, which has 72 mm -hmm. millimeter. Uh, diameter and the uh, focal length is 420 so practically is around f6 f number and it's fully multi-coated uh, it's practically a telescope built for astrophotographing in mind and uh, that's what it does but beside that is upper chromatic you can use it visually. I have looked at the Orion Nebula and Orion Belt with this amazing, superb view. Never seen anything like that. Beautiful telescope. Uh, the mount that I have for it is a Celestron mount, but I'm not using it because for Celestron mount to be used with this, I have to take it out in the field and uh, mount and tripod. And f I don't have access of, uh, or the luxury of that. I just use from Windows. So I'm just using this Skywatcher Virtuoso, uh, Vir Skywatcher Heritage uh, 100 uh, P uh, Dobsonian mount for it, which is versatile. There are limitations with this, also. It is very superb, but there are limitations. Uh, with this eyepiece, I cannot focus on the l short distance. Uh, I mean, just around 10 meters ahead of me, where the hedge is there. Uh, so you cannot use many eyepieces with this if you want to do something like what I do, looking at the short distance, or for this video I'm using that. But with the Skywatcher Nirvana 16mm uh, ultra-wide angle, 82 degrees, fully multi-coated eyepiece, I can clearly bring everything to focus. I'll show you. So bring it into focus with this Ostara uh, 19 millimeter flat field uh, 65 degrees eyepiece. Uh, it seems it works better with the shorter focal length. Although it didn't work with the 15 millimeter, I mean I could not bring it to focus in this short distance with the 15 millimeter uh, Teleview Plus all. Uh, it couldn't come also with, in focus with this Teleview 40 millimeter focus. Uh, so, so much of this. But the Nirvana beautifully brings to focus with very wide angle of view. You have seen it. I will show you probably later also in a separate video. All in all is... Uh, also, I just might point out, Feather Touch uh, Focuser is really good in this case. I have a 2-inch focuser also for this, which I can use. Uh, I may use and uh, yeah it really gives good result with the tall um, plus all uh, i think 20 millimeter one tall eyepiece uh, 20 millimeter one or 25 millimeter one really beautiful result of course you have to again the shortcoming is from me probably because i'm looking targeting a short distance object which is in this case the hedge in front of him which is 10 meter away so Beautiful telescope, compact, limitations if uh, in the case, for example, focus travel can be limited in this, is focus travel, let me show you how much it goes. So, I'm now starting from here, and I go to the maximum of focus travel. That's the focus that he can reach, that's three centimeter practically. Uh, one and a quarter inch probably well, a little bit more probably one and a half inch mm -hmm. that's all and that puts limitation on the um, on what you can see with this uh, in close distance but in the far distance no there is no problem with that I've seen the Orion Nebula as I told and the um, belts of the Orion the three stars of it uh, in very wide angle I must say in a very wide angle view
beautiful. Never seen anything like that with this telescope. I've seen that. And what is interesting also about this telescope, uh, it has a cap like the Mead ETX telescopes that is screws in and uh, will not come off. So your lens is well protected, your valuable expensive lens. This is inside of the telescope, as you can see. It is well blackened as far as I can see here. And now I've installed a Hyperion eyepiece, Brother Hyperion 21 millimeter, which can come on focus at the range of 12 meter and beyond, not closer. And uh, so practically it means that for bird watching that is good, uh, for astronomy that is good also. It's cheaper than a telephoto lens. If you want to buy a telephoto lens for your camera, why not consider this? It has all the things that you need besides that you can actually focus it and keep it in focus because there is a screw underneath uh, here that you can actually keep it in focus, that is screw. And uh, then it's uh, fully multi-coated. It's a shot glass, which is the best glass you can find. It's a uh, patented glass, practically. It gives a semi apo or apo chromatic qualities. Uh, you can buy it new for as around 250 or something. Second hand, you can buy cheaper. I bought this with a stand of it, 215 or 35. Yeah, 235. And yeah, when you buy it new, you will, it will come also with a carrying case, aluminium carrying case. You can put it inside there. And well, of course, what you buy online, uh, I mean, when you buy it new, what it has is just a tube. You receive the tube with finder and uh, star diagonal, and that's it. Nothing more. And also the dovetail and the rings. But I received also with a good go-to uh, mount and tripod.